favorite play between 8K and 9K, Jeff? Yeah, I, I'm going to ride with the play who I just uh, and I'm an enamored with. It's Christian Bezadenhout uh, at 8,700. Oh. This dude's made 29 of his last 30 cuts worldwide. Like, for DFS, does it get much better than that? I mean, this guy just produces. And it's not like he's finishing T70 every week, too. You know, top 20, top 30 finishes. He'll get there eventually. This guy's a high-end putter. He's got a great short game, which is going to help him around these sh uh, small greens at Pebble Beach. I, I think Bezayden Hood is a fantastic roster, too, in this weaker field where, you know, th this is the kind of event where you'll probably see him pop up with a win one day because there's not that top-end talent. He won't have the, the you know, the the sort of scary nature of come overcoming like a John Rahm on a Sunday. So I think you pay up for Bezayden Hood here. Again, a player I don't think will be that popular because he doesn't have a huge course history. But, man, he is a very, very solid roster there at 8,700 in this field. Yeah, isn't this his first start here? It is. First yeah. time playing Pebble Beach. So a little bit scary, but, again, I, I think that'll just keep the ownership low in big fields. Cool. Like it. I like your strategy. All right, Led, what's your favorite play between 8K and 9K? You know, last year, Tom Hoagie finished 12th here after years of not playing well. And, and we couldn't have seen it at the time. Uh, there was nothing other than that to let us know. But it seems like he's been a different player since then in the past year. And certainly in the last six months, he was fourth at the Northern Trust loaded playoff field. He had another top five in the fall, in the fall series. And then he was runner up a couple of weeks back. Uh, you know, three of the best finishes of his career at age 32. It's certainly, these are not isolated things. These are coming with greater frequency. And it seems that at age 32, Tom Hoagie is finding a new gear in his career. It doesn't happen very often, but it can happen and it does happen. And so I like to look for him. He's $8,500. There's not too many guys I like in the $8,000 range like I did in the nines. I look for Tom Hoagie to keep it going.